So it seems like, Ricky, mm -hmm. do you know what I'm talking about here? It seems like everyone I know is either drinking the CrossFit Kool-Aid or so anti-CrossFit that they're basically protesting outside of gyms. For whatever reason, this uber intense exercise craze has polarized the fitness community. So what is it? And more importantly, is it for you? Because it is certainly not for me. Three reasons to get upset about CrossFit. And it sounds like from the it. title that you don't like CrossFit. It was all part of the master plan to be a little bit controversial, I guess. <laughs> for people who don't know what CrossFit is, can you kind of define it for us? I can try. I know there's a, a technical definition for it. I haven't really memorized it, but um, I've had a lot of trouble trying to describe it to my friends. I think um, how I would describe it would be it's a it's a combination of a bunch of functional and varied movements um, done at a bunch of different time ranges at a really high intensity. Does it hurt? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes it hurts. <laughs> Let's talk about the but point. kind of hurt the points you're making in this blog, why people get upset about CrossFit. Number one, CrossFit Illuminati serve Kool-Aid via water fountains. It is a little culty. It, it can be a little culty. And I think the point I made was uh, a lot of things can be kind of culty. I feel like um, until you join certain clubs, you really don't know a lot about them, like being a parent. Um, I find that that seems to be a little culty for me. I don't have kids yet, so I don't know what it's like, but I, but I find that people post a lot of pictures of their kids on Facebook, so it seems a little culty. So it's one of those things that you get really obsessed with it as you do it, and you just want to talk to people about it all the time. There's lots of stuff yeah. like that. But Max, you just, right? <laughs> you just compared the miracle of life to CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty fantastic. In your oh, blog, wow. okay. in your blog, you wrote, my wife and I both do CrossFit and we both enjoy it. We talk about WODs, don't even know what that means, during dinner and have been known to be annoying slash overbearing CrossFit couple that post too many workouts on Facebook. You really post all of your workouts on Facebook? Not all of them, just the ones I do really well at, so I can share that. <laughs> Did it take you a the while? The ones I do terribly at. Did it take you a while to get into it? Because it's very, very intense. So I imagine for a beginner, it's kind of tough. Yeah, I would say um, for the first maybe two weeks, like walking was a chore. Um, lifting anything above like my waist was uh, was difficult. But uh, but you get in shape. I mean, you get fit and it becomes just a part of what you do. Um, but I enjoyed it right off the bat. Um, even though it was it was painful. <laughs> you know, Max, number two here is CrossFit wants all your money. And I'm curious, when you do CrossFit, can you do it on your own? Or is this something that you always need a trainer or you need a class for? Yeah, I think that, um, so the way that CrossFit is set up is you can do it on your own. They actually, it's, it's totally open source. Um, everything's available uh, there online. So you can, you can train in your, in your garage. Um, you can choose to go to a gym if, if that's what you prefer. I, I prefer it that way because I just like the social aspect of it. Um, but, uh, but there's definitely a cost associated with that. So, I, um, I hate the social aspect of the gym. I'm just going to say that right now. Like I go to the gym and I do not want anybody talking to me there in the locker room, in the gym. I find it strange to converse <laughs> while trying to get that stuff done. I'm always embarrassing myself at the gym. Same. So I clearly don't want to, but <laughs> so what's, but, what's really wonderful about this, uh, just on a side note is, uh, that I, I totally agree with you guys until I joined CrossFit. Um, I really was very antisocial at the gym. There's no mirrors. At, at a CrossFit, you're never going to see a mirror in there, and you're not going to find people with headphones on. Everyone's actually, it's, um, it's a really social atmosphere, and people are together when they're doing it. Is there so anybody, it's, it's a different Is energy. there anybody lingering around? That's my problem at the gym all the time, is that there's people lingering around between, between machines, and they're not really doing anything. They're just kind of standing there with their headphones on, looking around, and you're wondering, what are you even doing here? Why would you want to be at the gym any longer than you have to? <laughs> Does anyone I linger? There's very little of that. No, there's not a lot of lingerers. We, we kind of just chill out and, and say hello. So. so, Max, before we let you go, if people are interested in trying CrossFit for the first time, what should a newbie know before they go into it? It's a great question. Um, I would say uh, research, research, research. Definitely take a look at the gyms you're looking at and make sure that they are qualified trainers um, because it isn't very difficult to get a certification, and that seems to be one of the uh, biggest issues with CrossFit. Um, that people have anyway is uh, is you know the uh, proneness to injury. So definitely do your research, do your homework to find out um, more about the gyms that you're taking a look at, and make sure that you're getting involved with a safe and reputable gym.